Do your strings have the blues? I know I've got the blues, but I'm not sure about my strings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pack of DR blues, pure blues strings, and I'm going to put them on this guitar. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create something on the computer because I like to I like to compose and I'm going to do some kind of bluesy stuff. I don't know. And uh, I want to put a drum track, a bass track. I want to put some rhythm so that we can hear how this sounds with the rhythm part and uh, with the different strings and also some lead part that I can duplicate so that you can hear both side by side. So stick with me just a little bit and I'll show you what I can come up with. Recently I changed my computer at the end of the last year and I didn't get the, the drum program that I had on the other computer transferred over yet. So I'm stuck with right now the Mixcraft library of stuff and I couldn't find a good blues track that I like. So what I've done is I picked this, uh, it's called Funky Rock Drummer. Uh, it's not exactly blues. Let's just see what we can make of this. So here we go. That's that one. All right, so this is what I came up with for a solo. And it goes something like this. Let's hope I get this. Here we go. Two, three, four, two, two. Here's the intro. Okay, so now that I've done the first recording with the current strings that are on the guitar, what I'm going to do is take these strings off. I've got, I've got the guitar laying on the bench here with my um, multi-purpose uh, studio footstool here, which comes in handy for some other things too, like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these strings off using the string winder, this Planet Wave string winder, and I'll be replacing them with the, uh, the DR 1150 pure blue strings and I'm also going to take the opportunity of uh, putting some uh, special oil on the strings this is uh, some lemon oil and uh, this kind of a controversial thing about taking strings off a guitar some people say that you should never take all the strings off at once but replace one by one something like that so that you don't release all the tension well I'm going to take them all off and then once I've got them taken off I'm going to rub this lemon oil in. It's, it's a good opportunity to do that. And, and if there was, if I had more time and, and uh, patience, I would take a look at the frets and maybe I would do a little uh, fret polishing. But uh, I'm not going to bother with that at this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking these strings off, take them all off in one shot, and then once they're off, I'll, I'll put the new ones on and I'll snip the, uh, the ends off with this special tool here. This comes in really handy occasionally when I actually change strings. Okay, all right, that's the first one. Next one. That one's off. Next one. Okay, that one's off. Here we go, take this off without Sticking that in my finger. Okay. Since I'm not going to have to put these back on again ever, uh, and actually, if you ever try restringing a guitar with old steel strings, chances are 
they're going to break anyway. Um, I was going to snip this with the with the snipper, but uh, it actually just came off by itself. So the last one is this one. So I'm going to snip this one because that will just give me ability to push this through, hopefully, and perhaps it will come off a little bit easier. There we go. Okay, everything is off on that side. So then I just have to unthread these over here. This particular guitar is threaded through the back, so I could actually turn this over. And start pushing these through. Just like that. All right, and they're off. Now that all the strings are off, what I'm going to do is use this lemon oil. Just put a little bit on a cloth. Uh, you don't need much. It's just to give this uh, give this wood a little bit of something to keep it in good condition and it makes it a little bit shiny and it also cleans it and then of course you would just wipe that off and that's done okay so now I'm taking out the strings what I'll do first of all is take off this outside packet and looks like DR they put one master packet to seal everything nicely so that they don't get affected by damp and and, uh, and get uh, you find out you have a packet of strings that's all corroded so what they do is looks like they they wrap the sixth and the third now this set of strings incidentally I wanted to find a set of strings that has uh, a non-wound third string and I had a little bit of a hard time but uh, that's why I ended up with these particular strings uh, because it's not only DR that does these kind of blues strings or with a little bit not the the lightest gauge so so this has a wound third string so I'm, I'm gonna go thread these through and then put them on so what I've decided to do is put all of the strings, get them all threaded through first, and then work on the other end. Now, it's important to, to not get a kink in these strings, otherwise uh, when you stretch them out you'll find that there's a kink. The kink is not going to disappear and it's, uh, it can also be a place where they, they may break eventually. So, you should try to be careful with these strings. Now that I've got all the strings ready to put on, here's a little tip that I found on uh, another YouTube video and that's that when you've got the strings in place what you do is you just kind of give them, you know, put them on so that you've got just a little bit more to take up and then bend the string like that. And first of all it's good if you can angle these holes so that you're pointing this diagonally in this direction. So now I've got this with a bit of a bend on it. We'll eventually take that and snip it off with the uh, with the cutters that uh, are on the end of the Planet Waves string winder. One thing that you can do with an electric guitar is to plug a cable into the guitar and plug the other end into a tuner that has this uh, quarter inch jack plug in it and this is very useful for tuning up the guitar. Um, you could, I guess, also put one of these on the headstock, but I'm using this one on the bench top. So here we go. I'm going to make sure this is all tuned up. Before I cut all these pieces off. Now one thing I'm concerned about a little bit I always cringe when I'm tightening this first string up because because that's because it has to have a lot of tension on such a tiny string. And I'm always afraid of it slipping. There we go. 
made it. Okay, so now the strings are on, I'm going to cut the ends off. Okay, so the strings are on. So I've got the strings on now, and I noticed right away the feel. It's more like, uh, you know, I can kind of uh, hit the strings hard like an acoustic. It's got that kind of beefy, beefy feel to the strings, which I, which I like. So what I need to do now is to play the tracks that I played previously, and then we can compare them. Um, I just incidentally, you know, I could really tweak the truss rod because the tension is definitely more using these these heavier, slightly heavier strings. So uh, I didn't want to do that. I, I felt like I can I can just play with it as it is. Perhaps later on, I may I may uh, tweak the truss rod a little bit. So I'm going to try the lead this time. It's not going to be exactly the same as the last time, uh, but I don't really care. I'm just going to go with it, and um, here we go. Let's give this a shot. Hopefully I can get this in one time. I've been practicing running through a few times already. do it all right now it's conclusion time so the funny thing is when I played this back through the headphones I liked the blue strings but when I heard it through the speakers I like the regular strings I think it's because when I hear on the headphones I'm hearing more definition of the guitar sound but when it comes out through the mix in the speakers it seems to come out a little bit more punchy or something in uh, with the regular strings see if you feel the same way what I'm going to do here is what you can see on the screen here is I've got the rhythm under a sub track so that there are two the two tracks here the slinkies and the blue strings like right now I've got uh, the slinkies muted I'm going to switch that one around I'm going to try let's do the uh, let's do the regular strings first and then you can listen to that and then I'll play immediately after I'll play the other ones so they both have effects on some, some compressor and some some reverb and things like that but they both have identical because they both the effects are applied to the sub uh, to the subtrack see incidentally the uh, the new strings had a bit more volume. I think that's because there's more mass in the strings, you know, they're thicker strings. I've seen other reviews of these type of strings where you're going from the same gauge to the same gauge. The nickel strings, the blue strings, are actually, um, they say, are a little bit less output. But uh, in this case, I think it makes sense that there's more output from, uh, from the nickel strings because I'm going with a heavier gauge. So I did adjust the volume a little bit because of that, uh, but basically I've tried to balance them. So here we go. Here's the first track. This one is with the standard strings.
I'm going to mute the slinkies and unmute the blue strings. Here we go. comment below let me know I'd be really interested to know what you think about this and also if you like this please hit the like button if you don't like it hit the don't like button and best of all is if you subscribe to the channel and then you get to know as soon as I put something new out and as I always say stay tuned and I look forward to seeing you soon Okay.